Well, from Church Stretton, we're now going to head down south to Marshbrook. No sign of the old station there, I know, but the station buildings still exist and the old level crossing is still working with the old signal box still operational. Well, I've reached Marshbrook and it's nice to see that the old signal box hasn't changed a great deal. In the book we see a picture from 1955 of a train coming down from Shrewsbury and we can see the signal box there behind and it really hasn't changed a great deal since then. A few new windows and that's about it. We've got one of the old station buildings still present. And we can see it there in that same picture from 1955. And we've got another picture here of the same scene from 1961. Now with no train on this particular picture, we've got a good insight to what the station area looked like. What has gone of course is the platforms, and there's no signs now of the old station platforms at all. Well the area into the back of the station has certainly changed. This is a little industrial estate here now. Now going back to the map, our next port of call is to have a look where the uh, old Bishop's Castle line used to uh, run and, uh, and we'll find fairly close to that Wistonstow Holt. If you'd like to know more about the uh, Bishop's Castle line then watch my video of the Craven Arms to Bishop's Castle Railway. And this is the site of Wistonstow Holt today. As expected absolutely no sign of the old Holt at all. Returning to the map, we're now going to Craven Arms, and this was where the Central Wales line branched off. Well, Craven Arms station has changed enormously. Well, if you just look at this northerly section in the book, where some trains departed to Bishop's Castle, it's almost unrecognisable now. This picture shows a train departing for the Much Wenlock line from this very spot. Well, if we go to the south end of the station and look north, we can see this contrast even more. Here we have the old station roof and building, and to the left we have the bay for trains going down the Central Wales line. It all looks a bit sparse and empty nowadays. But if we look south, we can still see the Central Wales line branching out to the right-hand side. This picture from 1911 shows the central part of the station in all its splendour. Sometimes hard to believe we're looking at the same station, sadly. Well, if you come into Craven Arms, it's well worth a visit to the Shropshire Hills Discovery Centre. Well, we've now headed south of Craven Arms and I'm going to Honorbury. Honorbury is the site of another level crossing, but an absolutely fantastic old station building. Well, here at Honorbury, this is the station house entrance today. Well, as we can see, the old station building here at Honorbury is well preserved and very much as it was um, back in Victorian times. Well, this has to be one of the best preserved stations on the line. We've even got some of the old station signs still present. This includes the sign pointing out the next destinations on the line for the next train. Well, the station here at Honorary Crossing looks even better from the south side. Just to the south of Honorary is Bromfield. Here we have another level crossing, and this level crossing is right next to Ludlow Racecourse. 
there was a station here but now it's gone sadly. And that's the scene today from the existing level crossing. No sign whatsoever of the old station there. The scene looking north has changed dramatically as well. But we can still see the double semaphore signal in the distance. Well the signal box is still working to work this level crossing. And as we can see from this picture in the book, it hasn't changed very much. Well, we've still got two of the station buildings here at Bromfield. This one on the south side, which has been added to, as well as restored. And on the north side, we've got Station House which once again has been restored. Well, we're nearing the end of my journey and our next port of call is Ludlow Station. depart we can see that the station has really changed. This picture from 1925 shows the station buildings that were in place at the time. That's a very different scene today. Well we can see in this picture here a closer view of that station building particularly the roof canopy and that's the scene today looking north. This picture shows that roof canopy from the north side looking southwards and we can see the rail bridge in the background which I was just standing on. As we can see again that scene has changed dramatically over the years. This picture shows the tunnel at the southern end of the station. Well that scene hasn't changed dramatically because the tunnel is still there but the station building and the old sign and everything else has completely changed. This picture was actually taken from the southern entrance of the tunnel, which I can't actually get to, but it shows you the old goods yards and engine sheds, which I can assure you are no longer there. Well, if you're coming off this line, you need to stop off at Ludlow Station and have a look at Ludlow itself. The main attraction has to be the magnificent Ludlow Castle. Come and discover the history that influenced the whole royal ascent of England. Well, if we go back to the map, we've got Ludlow here. And for the final part of our journey, we're going to come down to Wooferton here. And at Wooferton, there is the old station. And I'm going to go ahead for the bridge here, which is right on the border with Shropshire and Herefordshire. Well, I'm standing right on the county border here on this bridge. And I'm looking north, and this is the site of Wooferton Station. This is actually the most southerly tip of the Shropshire rail network. From here, the railway line goes under the bridge, across the county boundary into Herefordshire, and off on its way down to Cardiff. Well, as we cross the road to the other side of the bridge, we can now see the line heading down towards Hereford. Now, I'm only concentrating on the Shropshire part for this video, but actually, if you come on this line, the line from here through Herefordshire and down to Cardiff is absolutely fantastic, just as scenic, and it's all part of an absolutely wonderful railway line. 